Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's Halloween tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to do this kind of a zebra optical illusion slash body paint. So to start out, we're going to take Snazaroo's white cream paint and we're just going to put this all over our face. And this is just going to be your base layer. White is a really hard paint to work with and usually takes a couple layers. So I recommend getting a cheap sponge that you can really kind of dirty up and pack with product and help spread it out. I also know that sponges work a lot better with this kind of paint than brushes because the brushes tend to leave kind of little streaks and take some of the product with it. So I just use these cheap little cosmetic sponge. So now I'm going to start on these stripes and we're just going to lay them out in kind of a random pattern. I started with a thicker kind of v-shaped one at the top of my head like where the top of a zebra's head would start to slope down and then i put just a few around my eyes and you can just outline these to start out you don't really need to fill them in until the very end so now starting on the snout i'm just going to draw two lines that go from the tip of my nose all the way back to my hairline and this is going to be the start of your snout so then going from the side of the nose all the way down to the chin and around, I am just going to create this circle and fill it in with black cream paint. This is where your human features start to disappear and you really start to look more like an animal since you're blocking out all the highs and lows and just creating one black focal point. It starts to make it look like you have this stretched out horse-like nose like a zebra would. So this look is really just all about filling in the little details and paying attention to different patterns and stuff like that. So you just want to take your time and really focus on the details. So now I am just creating some more stripes coming back from the snout to pull the eye more backwards and making it look like I have a horse face. And then I am just using some squiggly stripes in between the more straight ones just to give the look a bit more dimension. So now jumping ahead I'm just going to start adding some more stripes kind of creating ones that come down the nose to elongate that snout and add ones along the face in different areas and then I'm just going to create v-shaped stripes all the way down my neck and chest and this is going to create that wrap around effect that zebra stripes tend to have. You totally can do your whole body with this, it's just going to take you a lot longer and if you're doing a whole body paint, I suggest getting yourself an airbrush because doing it by hand is going to take a very, very long time. But these stripes just come down, like I said, in a V, you can just follow the natural kind of V shape that your neck has and it really creates the illusion of having like a smaller, longer head on the top and then the bottom. Uh, being wider. So for the eyes, you basically just do a cat eye. Feel free to use eyeliner. I did use paint, um, but I just brought it down around the underneath of my eye and out and then over the top, which you guys will see. But you want to make sure you really elongate that tear duct downward because zebras have a very long, deep tear duct. So you just want to fill that in over the top. And I did add mascara, but that's totally optional. I think zebras always kind of have like really long eyelashes. So now I am just filling in the rest of my nose. I kind of saved this for last because I do tend to sneeze when I do this part. Um, so really the last part of this is just to add on some zebra ears. And I just made these out of felt and some hot glue. It's super simple. And I just took bobby pins and kind of stuck them in my head. So that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye!